If you just bought a tray of sushi from a drugstore or a gas station, and you're about to put one of those pieces in your mouth, wait! <laughs> There's something you need to watch first. Ready to eat sushi, salad, and spring rolls are being voluntarily recalled over fears of listeria contamination. The Fuji food products are sold in 31 states in Washington, D.C. They were shipped to several different retailers, including Trader Joe's, 7-Eleven, and Walgreens. The products are packed in plastic, with most having sell-by dates of November 22nd to December 6th. Fuji says consumers should throw out any of the food in their possession. Okay, now you can put it in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> No, because, I mean, let's be honest, if you bought sushi at a drugstore, you don't care if it's poison. I mean, <laughs> health warnings are not for people like you, my friend. <laughs> like, I'm not surprised that 7-Eleven sushi is not top quality. I mean, they sell it in a 42-ounce cup. What did you expect? <laughs> I don't risk my health on this. Like, my rule for sushi is simple. If you can't see the person making it, you should not be eating the sushi. All right? It's the same reason I don't adopt kids, all right? If I wasn't there to see you being born, how do I know you're not just a raccoon in a baby costume? I'm not getting tricked again! <laughs> I've been fooled once! <laughs> I also feel bad for the health department officials who have to enforce this rule, because they're gonna go into the convenience store like, I'm afraid your 7-Eleven sushi has gone bad, and the clerk's gonna be like, and? <laughs> no, I mean, the sushi here could be making people sick. Mm, your point is... <laughs> Although, I do get why drugstores sell sushi. It makes sense. Because they have a pharmacy. They're just trying to sell more penicillin. <laughs> yeah. Plus, it's good in case laxatives are out of stock. Yeah. You'd be like, sorry, we're out of x lax but have you tried our spicy crab roll? Yeah? <laughs> and honestly, I, I, I admire people who go to drugstores to buy sushi. Yeah, because forget bungee jumping. You guys are the real <laughs> thrill seekers. Yeah. I got a business meeting in 40 minutes and I don't know where the nearest bathroom is. Let's do this! Yeah! <laughs> All right, but speaking of sea creatures, this next story. Over the past few years, we've seen images of coral reefs that have been devastated by rising sea temperatures due to climate change. And unfortunately, half of these delicate ecosystems around the world have already been lost. But now, scientists have come up with a weird new idea for saving them, and it seems to be working. In an effort to help save the coral reefs, listen to this. Scientists are suggesting a little different approach. A new study shows a little bit of noise coming from underwater speakers was enough to bring dying coral back to life. Researchers played recordings from healthy reefs around reefs that were close to dying. Well, they found a 50% increase of marine life. Okay, wait, what? They're using sound recordings from healthy parts of the ocean to inspire sick coral to get better? That is amazing. <laughs> hey, imagine if you had a sick relative in the hospital and you went in with a recording of all her friends having a party <laughs> and that helped her get better. You're just like, oh, you have Ebola, Granny? Well, how about now? <laughs> like, what if it turns out all the other negative side effects of climate change can be solved by something this simple? Wouldn't that be great? Like, maybe the way to stop cows from farting is you just make them hang out with another cow that they have a crush on. Yeah. <laughs> and just like, mm, oh, hey, girl, hey, girl. <laughs>